the third eye of shiva everybody talks of lord shiva's third eye and when the visually impaired was born they couldn't physically see it but they could see through the third eye then everybody started calling them lord shiva such was the beauty to find out how we thought physically able to see they were able to see and talk so beautifully and from there must have come the rishis decided to go on meditation by closing the eyes so that they could see through the third eye they should talk to the third eye they should penetrate they can penetrate the person and talk about the past present and future paul gogol born on 7th june 1848 in france died on 8th may 1903 was a french post impressionist artist he said i shut my eyes in order to see paul must have understood that yes only those who can wanted to see should shut that borrowed knowledge when you shut your borrowed knowledge cleanse the borrowed knowledge only then you can see clarity beauty and all the plumbers knows to see the beautiful flow of water they have to clean the pipelines which is clogged and one of the most beautiful person was the uh bpmp bangalore water bangalore uh, water supply the bwssp our pipelines were blocked in indranagar in our rakam school and these guys come come came and they checked it up and every time it is getting blocked then they came and told me somaji who is maintaining the kitchen and the sink i said of oh, the school girls and that ladies please tell your ladies every day night before they go to sleep one bucket of hot boiling water pour it in the sink i said why he said because the pipelines is all a lot of oil south india uses a lot of oil and it's getting blocked because it's getting stick to the side you pour hot water every day night the pipe pipe will get cleaned up automatically you don't have to call your callers every day they could see they know they wanted to see the beauty of flow and children if they wanted to go from one class to another class from social science to mathematics class they should shut down social science they should close the eyes of social science then a new eye opens for the mathematics is very very important hence in most of the zen monasteries they say please leave your slippers and your mind outside before entering and that has been taught to all the men when you come back from a job from outside from the jungle of the concrete jungle on the real jungle when in the coin the real jungle you go for hunting the deer or animals and bringing a piece of it for for your wife and children to cook or the men in the concrete jungle working like a madman and then trying to bring something what as a salary when they come back home they shouldn't talk like that they should leave the mind and the slippers out the mind of the office and only they and the and the and their wife and the children they and the family that is what in and the yang only the positive energy will be, can create electricity deeper the light and in that light you see varieties of satories explosions of satories and that those explosions of satories are organic experiences and there you become enlightened every everything enlightened paul gogin said i shut my eyes in order to see in order to see yes anything and everything you have to shut and have a clear mind you cannot go with the with the cup filled of dirty water and ask your master your guru your teacher your wife your children who are you going to them you cannot go with a with a cup and ask them for fresh and if the master pours fresh water the previous day's water gets mixed up and you drink it and you say master given dirty food no no you must go the ddp deputy director of public public ddp instructions 
who is controlling the high school of hundreds and maybe 300, 500 high schools. He is the director and he comes to the B or block education officer who controls on 250 schools. He's, they are like chief minister for the education department. They were passing in front of the school and the headmaster and my principal went and told them. Uh, they came to visit the school and said, Swamiji is inside, would you like to meet them? And they said, yes, we would like to meet Swami Rakumji. And one of them told, oh, today I cannot meet, I don't want to meet Swamiji. They said, why? Because today we did not wish. They wanted to be clean to come to the master to take it in the in the clean bowl so that they get fresh food because everybody knows in India that if the vessel, if one drop of dirt is there in the vessel, the milk gets spoiled, stainless steel. I shut my eyes in order to see that. So everybody shuts their eyes before you answer a question because you have to shut everybody in order to see that question. You have to shut everything from one class to another. You're talking to your husband, you're talking to your wife, you want to talk to doctor, shut your wife and your husband and then talk to the child in a different tone, different language. You can jump. That is where they teach you. Yin and the yang, it will be such good. If people have understood that one, there is no disease when disease attacks you. Shut down everything and then call for the army, navy, air force. The body knows, the body will shut down, then concentrate on the disease. Why did he enter without permission? Who gave permission? You will understand that the dirt inside you, you have to forgot to clean. He, the dirt attracted him, asked him to come. You are put in the place of petrol, diesel, the, the vehicle of the body is shut down. You need time to clean it out. Shut down the vehicle, cleanse it up by drinking distilled water. On a fast, you get your tooth back. That's what all the rishis does it. Just shut down everything. Shut down everything, sit in closed eyes. They see the truth and the truth. In that truth lies all the answers of nature which is called God. <laughs>